All right, my friends, my name is Jack Billings, CEO and founder of Shed Knives, and today I'll be going into the 2024 Shed Knives release, all the info you need to know, where we're headed, where we're going, what I see for the year, all this fantastic stuff. But before we do that, I have two things. Number one, what is your favorite knife? I generally ask what is the knife you're carrying for the day, but What's your favorite knife? Let me know in the comments. Maybe it's something you own, maybe it's something you want to own, but let me know. Personally, my favorite knife is the 2023 Shed Knives to Atara in Coyote Tangy 10. I might be a little biased on that one because I make them, but that, it just feels so right. I love that knife. And the texture with the Coyote Tan, perfect. And that brings me to number two, which by the way, let me know that in the comments, but that brings me to number two, which is knives. I have more orders going out, thank you very much. And I did a video on this, why so many other knife manufacturers take so long to fulfill stuff. And then also touching on why I take a little bit longer than usual for my knives. And really to sum that up, it's because I outsource my steps, some of my steps, not all of them, two. I outsource two steps, that take a total of eight weeks to do. And for 2024 models, I am now moving away from that. Thank goodness. But in the meantime, if you have a pending order, if you've been waiting for a long time, I truly appreciate your patience. I appreciate your support. And also you've given me an opportunity to figure out how to get stuff done faster, which in the very end will benefit everyone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have quite a few blanks. Here they are sitting there that are ready if you would like one for your own. I have all my materials now, so it's just a matter of getting knives done, and I'm very thankful for that. So if you want to get one for yourself, I have quite a few over there, and it's the last batch of 2023, so you can go check that out on ShedKnives.com. But let's move into the video. 2024 models, what can you expect? What do you need to know? Well, okay, there's gonna be nine models. Every year I've been increasing my knife models a little bit more from the year before. I believe I started in 20, I think it was 2019 was my first like true, like here are my models. I think I had five. The quality is absolutely insane. Also a few things I'm looking at and that I will be doing for my knives. There will be CNC cut, 154 CM steel, USA made by the way. And I'll have G10 scales, I'm looking at using layered G10 and marbled G10, or burl, technically it's burl, uh, G10 and different colors and they'll be mixed and it'll be really nice. And then also, uh, let's see, the layers, the layers will be cut out on. Whoa, CNC machine, this is fantastic. I'm actually gonna bring it over so you can check out some of the work I've been doing. All right, here's the CNC palette, you could say, that I've been working on. If you wanna go find the full detailed, like, breakdown of how I got to this point, I'll flag that in the corner for you. But in the meantime, let me tell you what I've been doing. So this was the very first scale I did, and this was pretty cool to check out. It was neat, I didn't get it to the point where I could actually cut it out and hold it and whatever, but still cool. Then these other ones, uh, just different editing of the software. This was by far my best one yet. What happened though, my tabs where you break the knife out, like this one, we can pretty much break out just like that. Just like that, see, you can break that out. Um, my tabs were super thick on this one and this one, you can see I can break them off and go from there. But anyways, let me, let me set that back down. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, this, my counter bore was off and I didn't set the, the bore right. So that's why we have these like deep divots. But other than that, the cut on the outside, it was like perfect. It was amazing. And then over here, then it started texturing somehow. I don't even know how it started doing this, but it did that. And then I ended with this because it was just too crazy. But anyways, folks, CNC. 2024 models will not look like this. 
they will be much cleaner and refined and I'll be using different bits because so far this has been done all with one bit. So I'll be doing more bits and different contours and just stuff like that. So anyways, that's what I have going on right now. And yeah, so let's get back to 2024 models. And now CNC stuff, man, I'm really excited for that. I just have to go back for a second to the start, which I've already mentioned, but I didn't even know CNC machines existed. And now I'm cutting stuff, or at least trying to cut stuff out of this. So amazing. There's also a big beast of a CNC machine right here, which I'll show you. The machine is so big that I can't get the whole thing in the picture, but basically this, I need to put a box around it, which I will be getting to as well. Just orders are taking my priority, which they should be by the way. But anyways, this thing is pretty cool because this is gonna be cutting out all my blades and should most likely be doing my grinds as well. So I'm looking forward to getting this thing grinding, cutting, and all that fantastic big CNC stuff. Well, that one will be cutting out my scale. So very excited for that one. Very excited, I'm just excited in general. And I think that's fantastic because there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of improvements, there's a lot of change, and this is something to be excited about, guys. This really is. And something, if you're new to the channel, new as in you found Shed Knives within the past year, which is really most of you, to be honest. <laughs> Many of you watching this video have found me in the past year. Anyways, Shed Knives releases a new line of knives every single year. This is the latest release I've done. Usually it's like beginning of January. Now we're moving into late February, early March with the 2024 release. But it's all for good reason because this is going to be the greatest release yet. And going back to these yearly releases, what I do is I evaluate the previous line of knives that I sold for the whole year. And then I write down my ideal knife. What would it look like? What would it take? Just full list, which really does not change every year. It's more, I'm just working closer and closer to that ideal process, ideal knife. And then I see, okay, what are my resources? What can I do? What machines do I have? Who do I know? I lay out all the resources I have. And then I figure out, okay, how can I piece these resources together to then get closer to that goal? And this year I am so close to this end goal of like the perfect knife, you could say, at least a perfect process, but there's still a lot to do. And this is going to be a long journey. I'm in it for a long time and just moving bigger and better and just doing bigger and better things. And the CNC stuff is a massive step in the right direction. So I'm excited for that. Now let's talk details. I already talked. I mean, we've been talking details the whole time, but Let's talk actual like knife spec details. I will be releasing the skewer, which will look like this. I'll be doing a few minor updates to the general like metal portion of it. Very simple updates. And I'll also be releasing a mini version of the skewer. That will be called the skewer light. For those of you wondering, skewer, what is that? That's not English. Skewer is Norwegian for shed. I had that name picked out. I have my friend who lives in Norway. He, I called him up. I was like, hey, could you help name this knife? And he starts giving me all these different names. And he said, skewer. And I was like, oh, perfect. What does that mean? And he said, shed. It's like, ah, that is the one for this. So anyways, skewer light. That is the one I'll be using. Also, skewer light. Now I'm pronouncing light wrong, L-I-T-E. The Norwegian pronunciation is different than light, I believe, but light, let me look that up. I'll play the pronunciation. Here, here we go. Lita. 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 There we go. That's how you pronounce it in Norwegian, but just because most of my knife buyers are English, I'm gonna use light just for easier pronunciation. Anyways, light means little, which it's a skewer mini, it's a small knife, or basically means little shed. So the skewer light will be the smallest knife 
I will be selling and that I've ever sold. So I'm excited for that. The G10 will be a mix of layered, some layered, some burl, and I'll be using up to, I believe, four colors per knife that are blended together. So that will be fantastic. And doing three light colors, three dark colors, as usual, and yeah, this is fantastic. I think I mentioned this, but I'll be doing a liner as well. That will be an ivory G10 liner, so stay on the lookout for that one. And I'm trying to think what else you need to know. Kydex sheaths, and that's about it. Anyways, I'm going to end on that. My name's Jack. I make knives. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you know someone who may find value or interest in this video, hit the share. Don't forget to visit ShedKnives.com, and I'll see you in the next one.